This just happened to me, and I have to talk about this. It go boom. I make the beat that go boom, baby. All right, I was I was buying what I usually buy. Give me a second. Um, lemon chicken in this really cool uh, Chinese place that make you, and they give you um, lemon chicken sauce or lemon sauce, whatever they call it. So I get this large, right, so that I can cook rice, you know, I get my own veggies and do whatever, but this is full of lemon chicken. As you can see, some chicken is trying to escape this thing because I'm about to eat it. So um, vegans might want to leave this. Anyways, this dude that's offering me, okay, I got, I'm a huge germaphobe. You got to know I'm a huge germaphobe. I keep washing my hands, you know, and all that thing. I'm afraid of getting, like, some random infection or anything like that so yeah i'm a germaphobe anyways this guy he puts his thumb okay there's some special way that you're supposed to hold stuff all right just to be sanitary just to be clean this guy just refused all that put his hand inside the state and started pouring some chicken in there you know chicken's bouncing off his freaking fingers i don't know where that finger is being he's handling money you know he's like probably wiping his nose he's like scratching himself and doing all that shit and now my chicken is touching his hand going in here and then i'm supposed to eat this now all right he's he's filling this scene up and what he's doing is he has his thumb inside it's kind of like somebody says hey what kind of what kind of drink do you want and they hold the freaking thing like this who holds a fucking cup like this? Anyways, he was doing this, right, with his thumb. And he's pouring this thing so you can see it's kind of like hitting his thumb and going in. And I'm kind of, I'm disgusted at this point. I'm just like, yo, I don't even want to fucking pay for this. But I've always been like that. I've always paid for it. And if I don't want it anymore, I just fucking throw it away. I don't give a fuck. But this is something I've seen many times. People fucking putting their fingers in like this. Hold the fucking cup like this, like a normal fucking person. You put your hand around it. The circumference of this is so your hand can actually wrap around it and hold it normally. Not put your fucking finger in here. Like if you're like in the Braveheart movie or some shit. Don't do that. Stop it. Alright, so I admit it's going to be kind of unfair if I were to squeeze and just jam everything I dislike and I don't agree with in one video, so... I, I might do this in parts. Yeah. Alright, so there might be a little bit of nitpicking in here, but it's, it's, it's true. There's a few words that I completely hate and I just dislike and I'll just ignore them completely. Uh, for example, the word whatever. You know, when you're texting somebody and somebody says just... Or, or, some, or somebody just doesn't agree with you and says whatever. And it's just like, what are you, fucking 12? Oh, oh you are, shit. Forgot I was talking to a 12-year-old. Whatever, really? Like, this isn't 1994 anymore. Whatever ain't the shit. Never mind, never mind. Pissed me off so much, you know? Like, you're asking about something. Or maybe you're confused. Or maybe you just don't get something. And somebody just says, never mind. Or NVM. NVM. That shit is annoying. Never mind. Like, shit. No, you were talking about something. Fucking finish it. And or they just follow up with forget about it. Bitch, I'll forget about you. If you keep that shit up, you better fucking finish that sentence. And I I have major curiosity. You can't just, you know, start on my curiosity and then just say, fuck it, never mind. No, I will fucking delete you out of my life. Random shit like that. It's it's the most stupidest shit to say that makes no sense. A little child is running around the hallway or in a supermarket, slips, falls, gets hurt, and the parent's like, oh, be careful. Shit, your child already fell. There's no reason to tell him to be careful after the shit is done. Your child slipped and fell. You can't say be careful after it's already happened. You gotta ask, are you okay? Are you fine? Don't do that. You know, you don't say be careful when the damage is already done. Ugh. Mostly women say this. They say, I'm a classy lady. Oh yeah, most of these chicks don't even know what classy means. Alright, and they're either, these are and these are the type of girls that look at other girls and starts judging them, starts pointing at them, starts laughing at them, starts saying shit, starts nagging at you, and uh, think that they are the shit, and they deserve everything in the world, and they think they're totally fine. Now, these are the classy chicks. Let me tell you something.
everything I just said and that you're doing does not make you classy. It actually makes you the opposite of classy. You're a basic bitch. Okay, classy is like represented to a man being a gentleman. They control their emotions. They are slow to anger. They reason and they think logically. They don't fall for anger. They don't fall for any kind of um, mad situation. They think before they say something and think before they act. All right? They're smart. They're polite. They're, they're courteous, generous, and they're not selfish. So if you're all these things, and you know how to control your anger, then you can identify yourself a classy or a gentleman. Don't come around saying you're classy, you're a classy girl just because you dress in a certain way and just because you're like, oh, I don't do that. Right there, that attitude of you saying, ah, I don't do that, I'm classy, makes you a fucking bitch. Alright, just that stuck up attitude, so don't be doing that shit. People saying reading the book is a lot better than the movies. Now this is an annoying piece of shit right here. You know, it all started with Harry Potter. Harry Potter's movies came out, even though I haven't watched them yet. I don't fucking care. I was a kid in high school. Actually, I was a kid in middle school. And everybody had to bring in a book to read for these, like, 15 minutes of this bullshit class. I don't know why. Maybe because there's a freaking cut in the paychecks for these teachers. So they didn't want to teach us. So we had to sit down there for 15 minutes reading a book or pretend, in my occasion. I brought in Calvin and Hobbes. That was my book. I brought that shit in until they said, no, you need to bring a novel. And I was like, no, no. If you're telling me to read something that I didn't, like, sign any paper to be like, yeah, I come to class so I can read. No, I don't care about reading, man. If I wanted to learn something, if I wanted to read, I'll just look it up on the computer or something. That's a modding thing. Anyways, everybody was reading, like, this freaking book that I didn't understand I was like that thick and it's Harry Potter anyways the movies came out and everybody's just like yeah but the books are better it's like no it's never better to not see something it's always better to watch I'm a very visual guy so you can't be like oh yeah but like reading the book is a lot more amazing it's just like how can how can imagining something and then seeing it physically how is that better like, oh, this person's hair was so long and so brown, and the way he spoke was just like... And then seeing that shit, it's like, oh, wow, I can totally picture that, and I can think about this later on at night, and I can, like, reimagine this whole thing. Instead of just like, oh, well, I, mean, uh, I wish I could see this fight happen, and this fight, my imagination seems so much better than actually the movie. What? Go for anything that's coming out of, like, the... The Hunger Games, the Game of Thrones, and everybody everybody that annoys you that says they read the books, they have to let you know oh, they read the books. Like, shut up and do that in your own time. I don't care. I like the show. Period. Around saying that you know about comics just because you've seen the TV show, you don't know nothing about comics. Because the word comics come from actually the freaking comic books themselves. So don't be like, uh, well, technically, uh, this guy could be this guy because in the movies he'll be like, no, no. No. No, but the comics. Don't mess with the comics. Quit chewing with your mouth full. You know, you're betting on blackjack, and you're just like, Ugh, oh, I got a 19. I don't know if I should hit or I should stay. And Buddy is like, well, he has a king. You should hit it. You should hit it. I would hit it. I'm like, all right, I'll hit. Boom, 26. You know, bust. And he's like, ah, you should have stayed. Yo, what? How did you come to that conclusion, Einstein? Shit. Here I was thinking maybe I should hit again after the 26, but you just came to the conclusion I should have stayed. Dang. Ah. Anyways, uh, if you agree with a few of these, so you have some of your own, and I'll put it up in the next if I do agree with it. Ah, uh, let me know. This is Papi Lipe, and as always, Stay sexy. Boom. Chick, 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 chick